So in this video, we're going to be learning about web crawlers and robots.txt files. Uh, this video is created to coincide with the article we put up on tips.bspace.co. It's a free resource for anyone, not just Bespace customers, but it's uh, primarily aimed for Bespace customers, but anyone can access this website and look at the content. And what it is, is it teaches you about all sorts of things to do with web hosting. Uh, this article is about robots.txt and it shows you how to hide parts of your site from search engines. So what a robots.txt file is, is it's a text file, as you can see here, here's Google's robots.txt file. It's a text file that allows you to uh, hide specific content or pages from your website, uh, of your website from search engines and other web crawlers, not just search engines. Um, but it's not... Um, you know, a foolproof system because robots.txt uh, is uh, there's no specific standard for it. So, so if you create a robots.txt file, a web crawler can just ignore your text file and just crawl whatever parts of your site it wants to. There's this will not stop it from doing that, but it's useful for web crawlers like Google and Bing because they follow the instructions in a robots.txt file. So if you set a robots.txt file and you tell them not to search a specific directory and not to index a specific directory, then they'll leave that then they'll leave that alone. But if you're trying to hide specific parts of your website, then there's no point because one, uh, web crawlers can ignore it, and two, robots.txt file um, is always put in the root of your of your root directory of your website. So here's Google's; it's in their root directory. Uh, and it's always publicly accessible. If it isn't publicly accessible, then a web crawler can't see it and they're just going to crawl all your site anyway. So it has to be publicly accessible. So uh, there's just two caveats with robots.txt. It's not a, you know, a perfect solution. It's just useful for hiding parts of your site from Google and things like that. But if you're trying to hide them from people, then there's no point because since it is publicly accessible, anyone can just come onto the robots.txt file, look at the things you're trying to hide, and they can just access them anyway. So... So I wouldn't use it for things like hiding private information or things like that. There's uh, better ways to do that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how to create a robots.txt file. So if we go back onto the uh, tips of bspace.co, here's an example of a robots.txt file that will um, stop a robot crawling a website completely or a robot that follows uh, robots.txt. So what this first line says is, doesn't matter what the user agent is, I want every crawler anything that follow across my website to listen to these instructions. And then we say disallow, and then we put a, um, a forward slash. This forward slash means root, uh, the root directory of your website, which in this case for tips to be spaced at co is, that, is literally this. So this means if I had this as a robots.txt file uh, on tips to be spaced at co, this would stop all web crawlers that listen to robots.txt from crawling my website. So uh, Google wouldn't crawl your site and Bing wouldn't crawl your site and things like that. So uh, basically you can do two things. You can say allow and you can say disallow. If you say disallow and then you give it a folder name or a file name, then it will tell the web crawler to leave it alone. If you say allow, then it'll tell the web crawler that it's allowed to access that and crawl it. So if I go down here, you can see here's one that blocks the uh, Google web crawler. So, the, for, so uh, Google's user agent for their web crawler is called Googlebot. So what I'm basically saying is user agent, if the user agent equals Googlebot, then disallow it to access uh, the home directory of some user and then I'm also disallowing it access to the CGI bin folder. If I go down here you can see we can also disallow uh, Googlebot and any user agent from specific files. So if I had a folder called slash google slash hello123.html this would tell Google that it can't crawl this file and it would leave it out of its index. And similarly down here we can have another user agent so here is bingbot which is Bing's uh, crawler, and we're basically telling it not to go to the Bing forward slash hello.html file. And that's basically all there is to robots.txt. Uh, it's a really simple system that allows you to hide and um, allow specific parts of your website for web crawlers. It's not compulsory, you don't have to use one, but if you don't use one, the web crawlers will assume they can crawl every part of your website. So it might be useful to you know, use it to hide specific things if you want specific files from uh, Google but it's not a good way to hide files from users because anyone can just access your robots.txt file if they want. So that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.